All right, well, in the debate, I'm just simply going to read history, an article from a Jesuit priest, the Quran and the Bible. I'm going to identify Islam's history, the people of Islam, because Islam is for a particular people, and if you're not these particular people, you should not be dealing with this religion, and I'm going to show that in this debate. But I just want to read this. This is from, uh, this is from... Alberto Rivera, he is a Jesuit priest. All right, I'm going to read this. everywhere with the gospel, setting up small churches, but they met heavy opposition. Both the Jews and the Roman government persecuted the believers in Christ to stop the spread. But the Jews rebelled against, the, uh, rebelled against Rome, and in 70 AD, Roman armies under General Titus smashed Jerusalem and destroyed the great Jewish temple, which was the heart of Jewish worship and, and the fulfillment of Christ's prophecy in Matthew chapter 24, verse 2. On this holy place where the temple once stood, the Dome of the Rock Mosque stands today as Islam's second most holy place. Sweeping changes were in the wind. Corruption, apathy, greed, cruelty, perverseness, and rebellion were eating at the Roman Empire, and it was ready to collapse. The persecution against the Christians, the real ones, was useless as they continue to lay down their lives for the gospel of Christ. Because we know in the Bible, if you die for Christ, you get to get in the first resurrection and rule with him a thousand years. That's why they was dying. But it says the only way Satan could stop this thrust was to create a counterfeit Christian religion to destroy the work of God. The solution was in Rome. Their religion had come from ancient Babylon, and all it needed was a facelift. This didn't happen overnight, but began in the writing of the early church fathers. It was through their writings that a new religion would take shape. The statue of Jupiter in Rome was eventually called St. Peter, and the statue of Venus was changed to the Virgin Mary. The site, and this is going to talk about Islam, it says the site chosen for its headquarters was on the seven hills, and it was called the Vaticus. In the Vatican briefing, Cardinal B. told us this story, and I quote, A wealthy Arabian lady who was a faithful follower of the Pope played a tremendous part in this drama. She was a widow named Khadija. She gave her wealth to the church and retired to a convent, but was given an assignment. She was to find a brilliant young man who could be used by the Vatican to create a new religion and become the Messiah for the children of Ishmael. Yes, that is what that says. Khadija had a cousin named Wafiqua, uh, who was also a very faithful Roman Catholic, and the Vatican placed him in crucial role as Muhammad's advisor. He had tremendous influence on Muhammad. Teachers were sent to young Muhammad, and he had intensive training. Muhammad studied the works of St. Augustine.
So when talking about a, a common uh, heritage, uh, in our Jewish literature, we are taught that there is such a thing as a common faith, a fundamental religion which all men are born into. And this is a basic faith which is obligated on all mankind. In the past, we've called it by different names, the uh, Yirei Shemaim, which means the fear of he the people who have fear of heaven, Ger Toshav, or Bnei Noach, the children of uh, Noah, or during Hellenist times in Greek it was called Theos uh, And according to the school of thought of Rabbi Ben Mozeg, uh, this fundamental faith is also called by the name Islam. Some have suggested that this refers to the great number of non-Jewish believers who came to sacrifice the Qurban Shlamim in Jerusalem together with the Jews. Salamai, Muslimai, Muslimi. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noach, then for us, it is much older. This is the religion of Noah. This is the religion of Adam himself. That chick is an evangelical who started a publishing house in the 70s called Chick Publishing, whose objective was to spread the gospel through comics. Alberto claimed that as a Jesuit priest, he was a participant in a clandestine Vatican meeting, a secret meeting in the back. Islam was born. Now, that shit put the claims of Alberto based on that secret Vatican meeting that nobody can confirm. This is a fundamentalist Protestant comic book. That is the basis of his claim that Islam was created by the Roman Catholic Church. So you see, if you were to stop and ask, Brother Phil, I like that, brother. Where can I go to get the documentation so I can beat the hell out of the Muslims with that, that truth that you just <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it from Jack Chick's comic book.